As you'll note on the uh, screen, or at least it was on the screen, uh, there it is, 10-2. Budget Committee supports this budget 10-2. I'm one of the two. So I felt obliged to come up here and speak as to why I voted against this budget. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to speak a little bit more than normal in terms of the detail because at the uh, Budget Committee, when we voted twice on this budget, the uh, chairman, uh, chairman Latimer said, no, we're not going to have any discussion. So I wasn't able to discuss it. So I have to use the legislative body to give the discussion. And I won't go into great details I might have gone into in the budget where I might have persuaded others to acknowledge the simple facts of the matter is that there's a certain uh, question of legality regarding certain line items. And clearly, the process of getting answers to those questions has been in violation of the law. Yeah, so as you, the legislative body, has sent me and others to the budget committee to represent you and to ask questions on your behalf to the department heads, and the law requires the department heads to answer the questions put forth by the budget committee they have refused to do so. They have padded this budget quite unnecessarily. In fact, it got to the point where I was even interrupted by the selectman's representative on a point of order, who then assured me an invitation to the subsequent selectman's meeting where I could get an answer to my question. Well, I accepted at that moment such an invitation. And to be clear, two nights later, we had another meeting, and I made it more formal, my acceptance. To which the very next day, I received an email from the town manager indicating that the chairman of the board has disinvited me. Well, then he further said, that, well, I can go up and, and ask for an appointment like any other citizen. Oh, and by the way, we're not going to be meeting for another two weeks. Oh, and just as a happenstance, the entire process window closes at that point, so I can't do anything about it, regardless of what the answer is. How convenient. So, in a nutshell, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I will tell you, uh, while there are flaws in the default budget, our basic choices between this, what I would constitute an illegal budget, in which your representatives were not allowed to speak, nor get answers from the department heads, we should send the governing body up there a clear message that we are the legislative body and we will not tolerate such behavior, nor do we want to fund such illegalities. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Mr. Watt? No, I think she